Hey people, I'm going to start this out with the sign of Virgo. Virgos are stubborn, sensual, and productive. You know, they're down-to-earth hermits. When you work for a Virgo, be alert and on your toes with your nose to the grindstone. And when a Virgo's working for you, you know, they dislike shoddy work or that which was done half-heartedly. And so when it's time to get something done, a Virgo is your best bet. So Pericles was a Virgo. He was a Greek statesman and a general of Athens during his golden age. He was the first citizen of Athens, and he turned the Delian League into an Athenian empire. And although he was married, you know, he was still a hermit, and that's why his wife was called a space of a mile it to us. A space of a mile it to us. She was a mile away. So Wikipedia has got a huge page on him. And I'll probably end up having to read it all to understand all the words in this writing. But he promoted the arts and literature. It is principally through his efforts that Athens acquired the reputation of being the educational and cultural center of ancient Greek world. He started an ambitious project that generated most of the surviving structures on the Acropolis. And so acro, you know, is the tip of, is what they say. Acro, the tip of. And the polis, they say, is city. But I say it's poly, the tip of many, including the Parthenon. He also fostered the Athenian democracy, as such to the extent that critics call him populist. He was descended through his mother from the powerful and historically influential Alchemanoid family, Alchem, Alchemy. In ancient times, you know, Alchemy would make you wealthy and powerful. But he, along with several members of family, succumbed to the plague of Athens, 429 BC, which weakened the city-state during the protracted conflict with Sparta. And so they call him Pericles. But in this Greek, when I read this H with this line over it like this, I read it as a H O ho. And so it's Perry clothes, Perry around clothes. And so he was there around the closing time, you know, which weakened the city state. And so how I know he was a Virgo, it's coded in this first Timothy, the fifth book in a line ten. In works good being born witness to. And how I knew it was talking about Pericles is because it was right here at the top of this. You know, the Presbytero Pericles. So I'm going to try to read these ten lines, you know, one through ten of this. But I'm going to start with ten here. And it starts right here with Virgo. You know, in ergo is and so in replaces the b in the hebrew a b means in and a lot of people will pronounce it as a v as a virgo is virgo is and even the word virgo you know means of a characteristic of the middle class the working class and they don't know where this word come from all they can come up with is late latin burgus meaning castle in that Christmas cartoon, it talks about the Burgermeister, you know, and he's the Meister, the king of the working class. Derived from the old French Burgess, a walled city, from Burg, a, Martin, a market town, Burg, a town. Derivatives including Middle English Burgess, Middle Dutch Burger, German Burger. And the Spanish Burgess, but you know the Spanish are going to pronounce that B as a V of the Virgos. Synonymous with the Intelligentisa class of 
educated people engaged in the complex mental labors that critique, guide, and lead in shaping the culture and politics of their society. Artists, teachers, academics, writers, meaning a town dweller. So, you know, in the works, the call how is. And so, you know, this don't mean good. They, they got too many words they say mean good. But, you know, the Virgo is the call, the call how is. This is how is the Virgos, the martyr of men. He's a martyr of men. We're going to fight to death. We're not going to give up our principle. The martyr, O O V, of men. And then it tells how they are. You see they here, they, they, they. It's talking about the Virgos, all the things that they have acquired in the stars they were born under. So they, the techno trophies in. And so they try to say trophies means the term, but trophies in is an ancient word that means the top three places, first, second, and third. They, the techno, the technology trophies in. They're in the top three places of technology. They, hex in a dox has in. This hex is given the meaning six all through the Bible. Or excuse me, 236 times they just say it means of. But 13 times they say it means six. It's the hex. And you can see this word orthodox, you know, ortho to straight, dox is opinion. And so hex, you know, also means across from, you know, the six in. The hex in opinion, the, the opposite of opinion, the opposite, the opposite of dox in, has in. We see in things from a total different way. They, a uh, gyo on, a foot, a, a foot on the earth, a, gir, a earth, a gaia on potus. They're down to earth, their feet down to earth, in a peas in, in, in a peas in, in a peas in. The earth, the foot in a peas in. Grounded, well grounded. We don't have our head in the clouds. They, Taliban, the noise, the perk is in. And so, Taliban means to study. You know, Taliban means the, the student or one who seeks knowledge. And so, so they seek knowledge in the noise the perk is in, looking for the, the perk of it, the good side of it, how I can profit. That's what I do here. I look at all this noise. It's all just noise. It makes no sense if you try to read their def their definitions here. It's all noise. But they study in the noise the perk is in. And looking for looking for what's good in it. Looking for the benefits. They pantier pantier P A N T I E R. You know Pantier is a name, is America Americanized version of the Panitur, which is the French language means the bread maker. Not quite of royalty, but no one knows for sure from where the name as we know it today derives. So that makes me no one, because I know where it derives from. It derives from Timothy 5.10. The, the panter, the bread maker, Gog, you know, G-O, and then it reads backwards after this, so it's a G-O-G, the Gogger. The Gogger is lead, Gog and Magog. Gog means to lead, and Magog is the one that's being led from the lead, from the Gog. And so they, the bread maker, leader, Agatha. Hagatha, and they'll say Hagatha means good, Greek Greek name meaning good, or wise and old woman fits better. Often seen as malevolent, wishing harm to others. But then it reads backwards, and it's Thaga, and 
Thaga is not good. You know, it's, it's the Hag Hagatha, the wise old woman thug. And you see that thag of cheated. It's where your word thug come from. And so that they, the bread maker leader, Hagatha, the wise old woman thug, you know, the wise old woman cheated. The pickle who this in. The the pick all who this in. And so what it's saying is, uh, you know, you put them in charge of the pantry. And the wise old woman thug is the pick. You know, always pick a Virgo to run your pantry. The wise old woman going to make sure she knows who's stealing from the pantry. But, you know, the, the bread maker, you know, Virgo is also the Virgin Mary and referred to as the house of bread. And in, in the oldest representation, she's holding the sheaf of wheat. She's the bread maker. The house of bread is Virgo. You know, the most ancient images, she always holds the, the wheat. House of bread. The house of bread. In this house of bread. So what it's saying is Virgo being the sixth month is hard working, analytical, practical, responsible, down to earth, loyal, you know, the, you the panitur, independent, caring, loud, the, uh, the martyr, I'm going to say it, smart, intelligent, you know, the, the techno trophies in, and strong. You know, Virgo's call, how is the martyr who men, they the techno trophies in. They hex in a dox has in. They, they, the six in the opposite opinion has in. And they a a geo on. They a, they a earth on the foot as. A geo on, a earth on a foot as in a peace in. Happy to have our feet down to earth. And they study in the noise the perk is in, looking for the benefit. And they panter, they pantier, they, they chief bread maker, gall, the leader, a wise old woman thug, the pick all who this in. And so the pickle who this in, you'll find this the first time it comes up, uh, real similar to this, here in the Greek Genesis 4. All the way at the end, you know, it talks about all the births. And down at the end, it says, And to Seth was born a son, and he named his name He Knows the Nose. Out as help is in the pickle this they. You know, help is in the pickle this they. When you're in a pickle, that's when you need some help, you know, to hope to call upon the name of the Lord. Oh God, I'll never drink that again. Help us in the pickle of these, the pickle of this day. And so to call upon the names of the Lord is, you know, the, you know, in all these qualities were cursed by Hagatha Thug, the pickle who this in, you know, the pick all who this in. To call upon the names of the Lord is to call upon astrology. Woo! There goes one line. Now, that took a little longer than what I thought. So I'm going to cut this off here and I'm going to make another movie. This next one I'll put it in the same folder. And I'm going to try to read 1 through 10. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read all the way through this because it's all pretty easy. Uh, most of these words repeat. So I'm going to cut this off here. Good day. <laughs>